Hey, Cortana, do I have any other reminders for today? You mentioned you would provide a list of designers for review in today's meeting. Right. Remind me when I get to the car. Got it. With the device graph, I'm able to push this notification to any of my devices. So I could push it to my Xbox, but since I'm headed that way, I've gone ahead and set it to my car. Now don't laugh, it gets great fuel economy. So with the help of Cortana, I'm fueled up and ready to make my meeting on time. There's an accident on 520 that will make you late for your 9 a.m. meeting. Would you like me to let the other attendees know and connect you when it starts? Yes, please. Okay, I'll let you know. Guess I spoke too soon. Hi, Laura. Just a reminder to provide a list of designers for your packaging review meeting. Ask LinkedIn to pull all the designers from my network. I found all the designers in your network. Would you like me to read out the top five or send you a summary? Send a summary to my product review channel. Okay, I added that to your team channel. Because Cortana is aware of the device I'm on, she's able to provide me with contextually appropriate responses so I can take the best next step. Hi, Laura. Your meeting is about to start. Should I connect you? Yes, please. Hey, folks. I'm running a little late, but go ahead and get started without me. No worries, Laura. We got your note earlier. So while Laura joins, let me take a second and show you guys around Microsoft Teams. For those of you that haven't seen it, this is Microsoft Teams, the new chat-based collaborative workspace in Office 365. And we're in a Teams meeting. Now, one of the great features in Teams is tabs. Using tabs, I can take anything that I access most frequently, whether it's documents, any third-party content, or like this Power BI tab here, which has our survey results. And I can pin it in my channel. And from there, I can easily screen share it straight into my meeting. Now, one of the most disruptive things that can happen in a meeting is when someone enters the room late or enters the call late. Now, what if I could simply just walk into the meeting and just like that, the Teams app has turned into companion mode because it's aware of my context. Windows is adding two new components to the Microsoft graph. Activities like this meeting that I'm in or a document that I might be working on throughout the day and devices like this iOS device. Here, we're using Project Roam to adapt my app based on the fact that I've walked into a meeting. Developers can leverage these APIs through the Project Roam SDK to bridge the gaps between people, apps, devices, and services, and enable truly mobile experiences. <laughs> 